Hi, this is Chris with WW Beds Custom Furniture, and in this video, I want to show you how to build the header. Now, on the do-it-yourself version, the pre-cut version, uh, the header is really the only thing that you have to build, and it's real simple to do. Some of the pieces that you'll need is the uh, two top fascia uh, boards uh, supplied, your top panel, and I have light holes cut in this one. Uh, this is your header stop. You also need have to need uh, two-inch screws, inch and a half screws, both provided with a DIY kit and then uh, your, your six dowels. You also need, uh, not supplied, is an eighth inch drill bit, a uh, countersink, and, uh, and uh, basically to, to get started, I wanna make some marks on the header. And what I will do is I'll take the mortises in here, and the mortises I cut in here uh, to uh, help space out and to support this top fascia to the top panel. And that gives you the correct spacing of a half inch that I need. Now if you're building this on your own without the pre-cut boards, uh, you'll have to measure up a half inch and then uh, attach it with that half inch spacing. But uh, with uh, the pre-cut boards, you, there's no need to measure that. But I do want to measure, put some marks so I can pre-drill uh, holes for the screws. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to the center of that mortise and it's seven eighths of an inch. And I'll put a, a mark at seven eighths of an inch about every eight to 10 inches. And then uh, that's, on the, that's on, the, on the back side. And what I will do is I'll pre-drill through, uh, through that panel. Okay, now I got now I got it pre-drilled, starting on the mortise side. Now I'll flip it over to the back side, the non-mortise side, and I will just countersink those holes slightly. Okay, now I have the, the holes uh, more, uh, countersunk in there so the heads will recess slightly below surface level. Now on the, this is, that's for the back part. Now for the front uh, fascia, what I wanna do is on the non-mortar side is mark that same mark at seven eighths of an inch. And what this will do is will give me a, a, uh, a place to, to put my nails. So I'll hit the board dead center. And again, I'll mark that about every about every eight to eight to ten inches. So I got the front marked, the, the back mark drilled and countersunk. Let me just move this header stop out of the way for a moment. Now, what I want to do is I want to uh, put the dowels in the header board. They should just slide in. If they don't go all the way. If they don't seat all the way to the bottom, you may want to take a hammer and slightly tap it. Uh, sometimes I'll just tap it on the table. Okay. Now I have the now I have the dowels in there. And I, I will examine this board to determine which side is the best because uh, I want the best side to be face, facing down and that'll be the one that'll have the half inch overlay and uh, also be the side that the edge banding is on this. So what I will do is I will start with the, uh, uh, the back side, the one with the, the pre-drill holes and the counter sink and I will add a little bit of glue to it and we'll make this my good side. Okay, add some glue to it. Now you want to uh, add this by sliding it into the mortise. Now the mortise slots on the fascia are elongated so that it so it's a so it's basically a fits loose. 
And that way we have travel to left and right. And what I do is I'll just flush it with the ends. Once it is flushed with the ends, I'll take my, my drill bit, or my screws, two inch screws, and switch out my bit. Okay, now I got the, I got the back on the back fascia on the he, the header board, and then I'll do the same thing with the front. Again, paying attention to, to which side the good side is, the half inch overhang, make sure it's the same on this front part. It should just fit right on there. All right, with the kit, if you bought the, if you bought the pre-cut kit, along with it comes some uh, finishing nails that you can nail through those marks that you put at the seven eighths point. Uh, you can do that by hand, countersink them slightly. Uh, I'm going to cheat. If you have a pneumatic nail, a nail gun, you can use just a finished nailer with inch and a quarter nail. Right, right on your marks. Now you got, now you got the front fascia on. Right, the next step is to put the header cleats on. And uh, what you want to do on these, they have a, a countersunk edge on uh, the pre drill holes. That will be the top. You want to put glue on the opposite side. And you want to fasten that with two inch screws. Repeat for the uh, repeat on the other side. Just make sure it's flush with the end, or if anything slightly inset, you don't want it to protrude out any because when you put the verticals on, uh, when you assemble it in the room, there'll be a gap there. Okay, I have those on. <clears throat> as you can see, the, as you can see there. Now, what I want to do is put the uh, header stop, and the header stop is a one, it's got a one-inch board that will get that will just that will sit in here and attach. To the front make sure it's not the back where the where we pre-drilled the holes that we attach it to the front and that will att attach with inch and a half screws uh, no need for glue on this step And your header is finished. Uh, some finishing tips. What I like to do on this is uh, sometimes I'll take a scrap piece of wood and attach it to the back. 
And that way it stands up really easy. And so when you put the finish on it, you can finish it standing up both sides at the same time. Uh, a lot of people won't finish the back. Uh, in our shop, we finish, or the top, we finish the top, even though it's not normally seen, we go ahead and put a finish on it. Uh, another tip is, uh, uh, if you're gonna paint it, uh, you can go ahead and putty the, putty the holes now. If you're using a stain, uh, sometimes it's better to use um, a finishing putty in between your coats of lacquer uh, to fill any of the small nail holes that you have. They do make uh, sandable, stainable putty that you can put on now on the raw wood. If you do use that, make sure that you sand all the residue off completely or it doesn't take very good. And also, it, it, even though it's stainable, sometimes it, it will slightly be a different color because it won't absorb the stain the same as the natural wood did. So, so a lot of times the finishing putty uh, works a lot better. Minwax makes a, a whole line of finishing putty. And if, you don't, if, they, if they don't have one for your specific stain, you can actually take two colors, mix them up, and it works very well. Uh, but I think that's the end of the header video. If you have any questions, give me a call, 501-753-9699. Or if you want to order our pre-cut kit, uh, go to our website, www.beds.com.